Hey, this is Caroline. And this is Steve. And in this video, we're going to compare the Amazon Echo to the Google Home. But without the devices. See, mine's not plugged in. No power. And how are we going to compare these devices without the devices plugged in? We're going to do it with Raspberry Pis. That's right. This is a Raspberry Pi Bake Off. So I have used my Raspberry Pi to make an Amazon Alexa and... And we've also used a Raspberry Pi to build a Google Home device. So yes, this is the Raspberry Pi Bake Off Alexa versus... Google Home. White Hat versus... Black Hat. <laughs> All right. shirts to match, of course. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go first. You're gonna let me go first, yes. right? Yes. Give it a try. Okay. Let's see. Alexa, what is the weather like outside? In Atlanta, it's 82 degrees with clear skies and sun. Today, you can look for intermittent clouds with a high of 86 degrees and a low of 66 degrees. Not bad. All right. Okay, Google. What's the weather like? Right now in Atlanta, it's 81 and mostly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 84 and a low of 64. Not bad. Oh, not bad. Okay. okay. So they both seem quite comparison. I'd make that a draw. Okay. 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 Yes. All okay. right. Uh, let's see. Next. Alexa, what is 357 times 578? 357 multiplied by 578 is 206,346. Wow, I can't do that in my head, but that's pretty good. Uh, we'll just take her word for it. Yes. Okay, Google, what's the square root of 2,475? Square root 2,475 is approximately 49.749. Again, I'll have to take her word for it, but again, we, we have some basic mathematics. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure I could ever slip that into an exam. Uh, you, you'd get caught pretty fast. Alexa, what do you think about Google Home? I'm partial to all AIs. Hmm. Okay, Google, what do you think of Alexa? I like Alexa's cool blue light. Plus, we share an affinity for Star Wars. Oh, okay, that's a little, that's a little cooler. But I th really think the one we want to go after is uh, Siri. Right? Ah, good question. Okay, Google, what do you think of Siri? I know she's from Cupertino. That's pretty close to Mountain View. It's a pretty safe answer. Yeah. <laughs> Alexa, what do you think about Siri? I'm partial to all AIs. Alexa, can you rap? Connect SyncLink all the pieces of your life I. Get it done at the speed of Wi-Fi. I'm the player, the coach, the arena, and the game. If you want something done, you just gotta say my name. Wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, Google. Can you rap? I can drop a beat. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Although I'm sure hardcore rappers might find that a bit lame. Yeah. That's more beatbox, isn't it? Okay. okay. That's pretty good. Alexa. Where am I? You are 3.42 miles, 5.5 kilometers, south of the center of North Atlanta, Georgia. Well, since you tested where, I'm going to test something that is not where, when, why, and how. I'm going to say, okay, Google, wherefore art thou? <laughs> Here's a summary from dictionary.com. Words from the play Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. Wherefore means why. why? Juliet is lamenting Romeo's name, alluding to the feud between their two families. Obviously, I was trying to test whether or not they thought wherefore meant why or where it means why. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, we're trying to show that we're smarty pants, so that's why we did that. Alexa, what's the closest restaurant to here? Based on your zip code settings, here are a few nearby popular restaurants Uncle Matteo's Pizza Joint, Flip Burger Boutique, Gallery Cafe, and Tin Lizzie's Cantina Buckhead. To get more accurate results, Go to the Alexa app and enter your address. Basically, these are doing their job just like the real devices would do, but we still have to go in and set up those profiles to get more uh, uh, specific information. Yeah. So, so we've been able to wrap. Uh, one of the things that we, we're not going to show now, there are some limitations in these devices, aren't there? Yeah. 
Um, so let me, let me, uh, I want to translate something. So, okay. Alexa, um, tell me how to say, where is the bathroom in Spanish? I can't pronounce it, so I've sent the answer to your Alexa app. You can also enable the translation skill from the skills store. Okay, so it's a skill to do translation. Correct. So out of the box, let's see if you can translate. Where's the bathroom? Okay. Okay, Google. Tell me how to say, where is the bathroom in German? Wo ist die Toilette? Ah, wo ist die Toilette? That's absolutely correct. So, <laughs> interesting enough, out of the box, Google Home has translation right away, whereas uh, what Caroline showed was that you actually have to go to uh, the answers on the the applicate on the app on your phone or your iPad. You have to enable a skill specific for translation exactly. on the Alexa. So interesting. So I think the vast amount of services and data with a search engine like Google uh, probably trumps what's in Amazon, whereas Amazon has vast amounts of shopping uh, content. So if you want to be able to order something, probably easier on Amazon. But it, nonetheless. We are absolutely mimicking what these real devices do. And that's, by the way, thanks to Google and Amazon releasing that open source so that we can build these, these devices. Alexa, did the Braves play yesterday? Amazon Music is not supported on this device. Wow, let me test Google on that one. Okay, Google, did the Braves play last night? They lost two to one last Wednesday against the Angels. Okay, Google, when do the Braves play next? They will be playing the Reds today at 7.10 p.m. Alexa, when do the Atlanta Braves play next? The Braves will play tonight at 7.10 p.m. away against the Reds. So I think the differentiation is that I have to say Atlanta Braves versus uh, just hey Braves. So perhaps the Google Home is much better at context knowing where we're located or it's using some other mechanism to determine uh, location. Because it's Google. It's Google. They know. They know everything. Yeah. So let's wrap up this video. Hey, um, what do you think? Who was, who was smarter? Who won the Bake Off here? You know, I, I love the Echo and I love these Raspberry Pi devices. They work real well. But I'd have to say, if what you want is content, uh, which is what we were testing here today, I'd have to give it to Google Home for our Raspberry Pis, the Bake Off. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, you're right. I love the translation that you can do with the Google Home. That was really cool. Um, the music, all my music is on Amazon Music and I'm an Amazon Prime member and I have access to all that Amazon Music. So I, so for the Echo, that's really, if you, you're into music and you just want to play music on demand, that's really the better way of going if you're into music. And I think even to make that even a, a better, another case for the Amazon device uh, is that you can also bring in apps that are popular. For example, you can invoke Pandora. So if you have Pandora channels. You can do it on either device. You, you can, can do it on Yes, you can do Pandora on yeah. Google Home as well. But yes. I'm not sure the Google Music service is as popular as yeah. say Amazon Music is, which people get with their Prime accounts. So uh, it, it's a good bake-off. Um, I, I would agree, though, with Caroline. I like the translation um, that comes with Google. The music, of course, is great. But I typically use my devices, both my Google Home and my Echo, for information. So I will probably, for information, stick with Google, and maybe for music, stick with Amazon. All right, perfect. Well, you heard it here first. This is the great Raspberry Pi Bake Off, Alexa versus Google Home. Thank you for watching. Thanks much.